Another visit from Dr. Matthew Devine, the medical director for Accountable Health Partners and the associate medical director at Highland Family Medicine. Thanks for coming in. Good to see you. Good morning. Interesting topic here uh, that I think a lot of people will uh, find interesting and perhaps have experience with. We're talking about hives and how and why they present. Uh, first, let's start with a definition. What are hives? Yeah, so hives are essentially a swelling in our body that's in response most of the time to an allergen that's in the air. It's kind of a fluid filled pocket that's kind of created in response to whatever that stimuli is that we don't like. It's the release of a, of a, of a chemical called histamine when that happens. What causes hives? Well, that's the million dollar question, right? So one in five of us are gonna get hives sometime in our lifetime. And over half of those times, we actually don't know what the cause of the hive is. It can be, like I said, allergies from the environment, food, you know, pet dander, you name it. There's like a huge list of these things that you kind of tail off that you want to try to figure out, but most of the time it just sort of goes away and you might not even know what it is. Right, triggers, right? Uh, and there could be lots of different kinds of triggers, and it might not be easy to identify which one is causing your symptoms, right? Correct, because there's so many other things that we're exposed to on a day-to-day -day basis. I think what we really look for is patterns. So mm -hmm. if you're getting hives over and over and over, then hey, time out. We really should kind of look into see what's going on here. But if it's just like a one-time thing, that kind of went away with some treatment, maybe you don't need to kind of do the million dollar workup on that one. I don't know if there's a, a right answer here, uh, but is there a typical amount of time that a hive sort of presents and then goes away? So, yeah, I mean, they can come over a period of hours to days, and that histamine that's responsed, there is a medic medications like Benadryl that are antihistamines or Claritin. You might have heard of some of these allergy medications. Sure. They can kind of take you down and kind of release back um, that kind of reaction that's happening. In some severe cases, we use pretty potent steroids and other medications that can help with that as well. So that really, in, and that relates to treating a hive, that those are essentially your options. Are there any other options for people? So I think the big thing is, is there's sort of a new field called nutrigenomics. It's been around for a while, kind of hefty word, but mm -hmm. essentially it's looking at the foods we eat, the way our DNA is broken down into this process called methylation. It's sort of controversial because there's still not a lot of research on it, but there's some promise to that since back to the beginning, half the time we don't really know what's going on with this. So if we could kind of figure out hey, some of these foods kind of create some differences in the chemistries in my body that can help me deal with this better, that'd be great. For those that don't, there are some other immunological medications that are pretty expensive that can help for people that have this real significant outbreak. Okay. Uh, we'll leave it there on hives. Uh, doctor, thank you. Thank you. Uh, if you missed any of our conversation, as always, we are sharing it online. You'll find it at rochesterfirst.com.